And uh, unfortunately, today we had the shooting at LAX where a a uh, TSA worker was killed, uh, uh, others were shot um, and wounded. Joining us now is uh, Dr. Chris Mahandi, who has been with us uh, many times before. He is a police and forensic psychologist uh, with over 20 years of experience, and uh, he also uh, served for the uh, LAPD Behavioral Science Unit. And uh, welcome, doctor. Good to talk to you again. Uh, nice to talk to you, too. Sorry it's under these circumstances. Yeah, uh, it's, it's always it under these circumstances with us, though. Yeah. Because it's the nature of the beast, I guess. But, um, yeah. you know, right it, right now uh, what we know is that uh, uh, the gentleman, uh, the shooter's name, the alleged shooter's name is 23-year-old Paul Anthony Ciancia, uh, who was shot and taken into custody. He um, lives in New Jersey, apparently uh, texted his brother in New Jersey before the shooting and said he was uh, thinking of killing himself. Um, what what could we learn from this incident where he walks into the airport uh, to a security checkpoint with a, a, an assault weapon or a, some kind of an AK-47 or something in his in a bag, pulls it out and starts shooting? Well, if um, if that's true, what he texted his brother, what we're looking at here is a suicide by cop situation. A guy, what suicide by cop is when a person engages in real or actual. Uh, or apparent danger to others in their bid to commit suicide, and uh, you know that you know you know that the folks at the airport are taking security very seriously, and unfortunately, it sounds like he may have uh, manipulated those uh, officers down there that he knows that he knew were there into uh, participating unwillingly in his suicide. Uh, uh, in this situation, so it looks like a suicide by cop. If that information is true, yeah, this but is. Uh, th- I just want to clear up. I just want to clear up. This is uh, from uh, uh, usnews.nbcnews.com, right. where it says that uh, he texted his brother in New Jersey before the shooting, said he was thinking of killing himself. This, according to what police told NBC Philadelphia. Yeah, and uh, if, if that is true, that would be very consistent with suicide by cop. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, if if this is a suicide by cop. You know, a good portion of the people that will actually commit suicide using the police to do it will actually do so by posing a real risk and danger to others with tragic results. Sometimes law enforcement, the brave men and women, uh, giving the ultimate uh, sacrifices this person from TSA apparently did. So, uh, you know, fortunately, most suicidal people are not dangerous to others, but those that are bent on suicide by cop, there's a portion of them that actually can be. And it's so important to take seriously when people are thinking about hurting themselves and to get them into hell uh, before something tragic like this happens. And uh, about one-third of all police shootings uh, can be categorized as suicide by cop. It's a phenomenon that's been growing in recognition uh, that we've been seeing over the last 10, 15 years. Let me, let, let me throw another wrinkle into this. And uh, we know that in the past the media, especially the, in my view, the liberal media, has been quick to blame uh, the Colorado shooting. They, they tried to say that he was influenced by Sarah Palin's website. Um, you know, do we, we, did Timothy McVeigh supposedly was a Rush Limbaugh fan. All these crazy cockamamie things which turn out not to be true. But they are reporting, for what it's worth, uh, that he had anti-government writings with him or on his person uh so is is one of the other mutual and, and that he targeted or uh, at tsa agents and even asked uh according to some reports are you a tsa agent or and if they said no he passed them by and if they said yes he shot so um i mean it are the two mutually exclusive or uh, might he uh d- you know decided to go after a t- certain target even though he intended suicide by cop Absolutely. If that information is true, and that's the big if until it's validated by the, you know, the the the, uh, the professionals that are looking into this and taking this very seriously, so they can understand exactly what it is. But if that information is true, it, it, it basically suggests that the individual made some decisions about the form of his suicide uh, attempt, and that there was that it would include a homicide suicide component, so that his ideology uh, could. Um, could, could uh, be part of his uh, of his violent impulses, and that's not unheard of. Uh, people, will, you know, uh, that, 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 that there are some people that when they do suicide by cop, one of the reasons is because of uh, anger or hatred of law enforcement. And in this case, if that information proves true, it could be a, a way of him in in his taking of his own life through these actions if true um, that uh, that he could fulfill his other agendas. So it's often multiple 
motivations to a circumstance and situation. So it would not be unheard of, no. All right. Well, uh, very quickly, because we have less than a minute, and you're not, you're not going to be able to do it justice. But what frightens me about this is, uh, I mean, I guess they knew this anyway, but, you know, this is, says, hey, terrorists, you know, 10 of you could pull up and do this all at the same time, and uh, you could kill, you know, maybe hundreds of people. I'm not following the question. I, I mean, it, it's an example. In other words, it shows that uh, one guy with a gun, you know, managed to shoot, uh, I don't know, six, seven people, and uh, and it just uh, shows uh, a flaw. I mean, I know he was stopped well, eventually. Well, yes and no. I mean, uh, you know, you can highlight the vulnerability part, but you can also highlight the fact that that's why we have these brave men and women uh, at checkpoints at the airports to deal with whether it's lone, lone individuals with a personal right. mental agenda or others, you know, the good news, we lost some, the bad news is we lost some, but the good news is we had break in harm's way. Doc, I, I got to let you go. The show's over. I really appreciate your input. Thank you, Dr. Chris Mohandi on the